Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. So recently a user posted a query wherein they wanted to dynamically increase the prices of the properties in various cities. For example, I have three different cities over here, Amsterdam, Budapest and London and I want to increase the property prices by 10% in Amsterdam. I want to increase the property prices by 20% in Budapest. And then I want to increase my property prices by let's say 30% in London. So how can we do that using a slicer? So to give you a demo of what I'm talking about, I have city, I have price and I have my new price column and notice that since the slider is set at 0%, the new price and the new price column are same over here and let's say if my company decides to increase the prices of my Amsterdam properties by 10% and if I move this slider here to 10%, you will notice that our new prices are updated for the properties in Amsterdam by 10%. They are increased now by 10% whereas the prices in Budapest and London remain the same because we have not made any changes to this particular city. And if I want to make changes to the Budapest city, I can select Budapest from this particular button over here and move the slider for the Budapest and look at the new property prices which are increased by 30% in Budapest city. Likewise, I can do for London as well. I can increase this by 40% and now the 40% increase in property prices are being reflected under the city London. So this is what I will be teaching you today. So let's get started with this tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to go to the modeling tab and we will have to create a few parameters. So I have three different cities over here. So I'm going to create three parameters in this case. So I'm going to go to the new parameter, click on numeric range and then call this parameter as the name of the city, which is Amsterdam. Let's change the data type to decimal number and my minimum value needs to be zero and my maximum value needs to be one. But remember that we are dealing with percentages over here and my increment value needs to be 0.1 and then my default value is zero. I'm gonna click on create, a new parameter gets created and a slicer gets added to my page over here. Let me just reduce the size of this slicer and now I have a slicer ranging from zero all the way up till 100. And let's quickly change the format of this particular uh, slicer. Let's change this to percentage and change this to zero decimals so that I have 20, 20, 30, 40%. And now I'm gonna create a couple of more what if parameters. I'm gonna call this as Budapest. Change this to decimal number zero and maximum is one. My increment is going to be 0 0.1 and my default is going to be zero. I'm gonna click on create. A new slicer gets added for Budapest now. Likewise, I'm gonna create another parameter here for the city London. And now I have added all three slicers here, which will help me dynamically change the values here based on the percentage that I select in one of these slicers. So let's create a measure now. Let's go to the table tools tab and click on new measures. And let's call this measure as new underscore price is equals to. And then on the new line, I'm gonna create a new variable here. I'm gonna call this as price is equals to calculate sum of price from my table. So I have a variable created now. Then let's write the return statement. On the return statement, I am going to use the switch statement. I'm going to say true, comma, if my selected value from the city column is equals to Amsterdam, the result that I want if it is Amsterdam is, I'm going to say price, this is the variable that we've created over here, which is nothing but the price of that particular property plus price multiplied by, let's say if you want to increase the price of the properties in Amsterdam by 8%, so you're going to write 0.08. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm saying that if my city is Amsterdam, then take the current price and then add 8% of that particular price, meaning increase the price by 8%. And then I'm gonna go to the next line here and say comma, if my selected value from the city is equals to Budapest, then my price plus price, let's say this is 5%, 0 0.05. And then I'm gonna copy the entire code here, go to the next line, and say if my city is London, then my price needs to increase by 10%, which is 0.1. Else, leave it as it is, which is my price column. 
I'm going to close the bracket here and press enter. So let's see what is happening. Let's let me bring in the new measure that we created into this particular table. So let's look at the example. We added 5% to Budapest. Let's take 118 as an example. 118 plus 5% is equals to 123.9. That is exactly what we have over here. Likewise for Amsterdam, we added 8%. So let's look at the first example, 194. We add 8% to Amsterdam prices is equals to 209.52. That is exactly what is being displayed over here. Now, if you look at the measure over here, we have hard coded these percentage values, which is defining our new price. But what we really want is the dynamic value based on the selection, which the user makes on this particular slicer, the value needs to change over here as well. So to do that, what we will do is we will get rid of the hard coded value here and replace that with the dynamic value, which we've created using the what if parameter from our Amsterdam slicer. So I'm replacing the hard coded value here from the Amsterdam slicer that we've created. Likewise, I'm going to replace my Budapest value over here to Budapest value. I need to correct the spelling over here. And likewise for my London prices as well. Once I have updated the dynamic values over here, I'm going to commit to this particular code. Let's go back to our slicers and let's change everything back to zero over here. And notice that in, in our new price column, we are seeing the exact values that we have in our old price column. 134 is 134, 240 is 240. And now if I change the slider over here to 20%, notice that we are only making change to Budapest over here. And likewise, if I make changes to the Amsterdam slicer, if I change this to 10%, we've only made changes to the Amsterdam as a city. Now my new price column is working fine as intended and the values are getting updated based on the selection that I make in the respective city. Now the next thing is that I want to create three buttons over here which will let me select the city and then display the appropriate slicer for that particular city so that I can make the changes because right now I have all three slicers visible on my report and that is not what I am looking for. So let's go to the insert tab and let's click on shapes. I'm going to add this particular rounded rectangle over here and let's go to the style section over here and add some text to this and call this as Amsterdam. Also, let's increase the size of the font. Now let's create a copy of this. I'm going to create two copies of these so that I have each. I have one button for every city and then I'm going to come to the style change the color to let's select this color over here and go to text and change this to Budapest. And then I'm going to come over here, change this particular color to maybe this one and then change this particular color here to London. And now all three buttons are created and they are aligned. And now let's go to the view tab and let's click on selection over here and let's change the names of these visuals that I have over here. So this is my London slicer. So I'm going to call this as London underscore slicer. This is my Amsterdam slicer. So when you click on this particular slicer, it will reflect over here and then you can make the changes. I'm going to call this as Amsterdam underscore slicer. And then this is my Budapest slicer. So I'm going to come here and rename this to Budapest underscore slicer. So let's go back to the view tab and select bookmarks over here. And let's click on add. And I'm going to call this as select underscore Amsterdam. I'm going to add two more bookmarks over here. Select underscore Budapest and then add another one, call this as select underscore London. So once you have all of these created, now I'm going to go here to the Amsterdam bookmark, select this particular bookmark. So when you select Amsterdam bookmark, you want the London and Budapest to be hidden. So under the selection tab, hide the London slicer, hide the Budapest slicer. So you only have Amsterdam slicer selected now, and then you can come over here and click on update. So once you have updated this, let's go to the Budapest tab now and over here, you will have to hide the London slicer and the Amsterdam slicer and then update the Budapest selection. Likewise, you will have to do for London. You can hide the Budapest and Amsterdam slicer and then just keep the London slicer over here and then select update. And now when you select Amsterdam over here, you have Amsterdam slicer visible. You have, when you select Budapest, you have Budapest slicer visible. And when you select London, you have London slicer visible. Now, 
However, all of these three are appearing in three different places. We need to bring them all in one particular location. So to do that, what we will do is we will just unhide these for now and then bring in this particular slicer over this slicer. Likewise, I'm going to do this for the for this slicer as well. So all three of them are hid behind each other. And now it's time for us to assign these bookmarks to our buttons that we have created. So let's click the button over here. Go to the format tab and let's go to action and turn this on and from the type over here select bookmark and from the bookmark select Amsterdam bookmark that we've created and then let's go to Budapest turn this on go to bookmark and select Budapest over here and likewise for, to, for London I'm going to turn on the action go to bookmark select London over here. And now when you press Amsterdam, you have Amsterdam slicer. When you press Budapest, you have Budapest slicer. And when you click on London, you have London slicer. And when you make the changes over here, let's say to 0%, you will only see that London is getting affected. Likewise, if, we, if I make changes to the Amsterdam over here, you will only see Amsterdam prices are being affected based on the selection that I'm making on this particular slicer. Now let's make changes to all of these three cities and make it 0%. Let's go to Budapest, change this to 0. Go to London, change this to 0. And now when you go to Amsterdam, you will see that it is now back at 10%. And when I go to Budapest, it again has changed to 20%. Why is this happening? Now the reason why this is happening is when you updated the slices over here, they were set at 20%. When, when you updated the slicer for London, London slicer was set at 20%. Now, if you don't want that to be defaulted to the values that were present when you updated the slicer, what you need to do is just go back to your bookmarks and go to every single bookmark and uncheck data over here. I'm going to come here, uncheck data. I'm going to come here and uncheck data. And now let's set all of these three slicers to 0% and let's go to Budapest. Now it is, if you look at it, it is set at 0%. Let's go to London. It is set at 10%, 0%. And now when I look at, I'm changing London to 20, I'm changing Budapest to 30, I'm changing Amsterdam to 40, you will see that if I go to Budapest, it still remains at 30. When I go to London, it still remains at 20. So this is the one check that you have to have. Otherwise, your slices are not going to work as intended. And now we need to make some formatting changes because when I select Amsterdam over here, I still have my Budapest and London intact with these bright colors, but I want them to look like they are disabled or they are not selected. So how can we do that? So what we can do is we can create a copy of these buttons and just bring them over here. And then let's change the colors of these shapes over here so i'm going to go here to the style and from the color i'm going to choose the dark gray over here so that it looks like it is disabled likewise i'm going to repeat the same thing for budapest and for london as well and now that i have all of these created and let's go back to our selection visual and this is my amsterdam visual so i'm going to call this as disabled amsterdam i'm going to select budapest i'm going to do the same thing for budapest disabled underscore budapest Likewise for London, I'm going to call this as disabled underscore London. And now let's select them and place them right above these shapes over here. When you select Amsterdam under your bookmarks, disable Amsterdam to disappear. Like you want something like this. When you select Amsterdam, the other two needs to be disabled. So that is exactly what we have right now. And then I'm going to come here and select update. So when I go to Budapest, I want the gray Budapest to disappear and have this particular colored one selected. And then I'm going to come here, click on update. Likewise, I'm going to do for London. I'm going to disable the London one and then come here to London, click on update. So now when you click on Amsterdam, you will have this highlighted in blue. You have the selection that you can make from this slicer. And then the other two cities are grayed out. Likewise, when you select Budapest, you have Budapest selection, you have the other two cities grayed out. We need to do this because details matter and detail is what sells. And now you have nice three buttons over here, which will let you select the city which you want to make changes to and have this dynamic slicer, which is only affecting the new price for that particular city. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.